Hi guys, welcome to Pencil College. In today's video, we'll be looking at chapter 11.1, .1, Trigo Ratios and Some General Angles. Okay, so here are the lesson objectives for this video. We want to find the trigo ratios for acute angles, particularly those of 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. And we will extend the definitions of sine, cosine, tangent to any angle. Okay, so here's the introduction uh, slide and uh, what, what I probably want to point out here is the basic definition of sine, cosine and tangent, okay, which, which you have learned previously in your EMAF syllabus. And uh, just want to point out that the sine of A, angle A over here, is just defined as opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, the cosine of angle A is defined as adjacent over hypotenuse. And the tangent of angle A is defined as opposite over adjacent. Okay, so if you find this uh, new to you, okay, please review the, the videos on EMAF trigonometry, which I'll go really into greater detail of this three trigo ratios. Okay, so the other thing that is new rather for this video is that, uh, is this term over here rather complementary angles. So what exactly are complementary angles? Okay, so let me just use a very simple illustration. So suppose angle A plus angle B gives me 90 degrees, then we can say that A, angle A and angle B are complementary. Okay, so meaning to say two angles that add up to 90 degrees are complementary. Okay, and from this definition of complementary angles, rather, we can derive these three identities you see here on the screen. Okay, sine 90 degrees minus theta equals to cosine theta, cosine 90 degrees minus theta equals to sine theta, and tangent 90 degrees minus theta equals to 1 over tangent theta, which can also be called cotangent theta. Okay, for if this is new to you, don't worry, we're going to greater detail in the following chapters. Okay, so... In this video, we are not going to prove the three identities here, but rather we'll look at some simple examples as to how to apply them. Okay, so without further ado, let's go to example one. In the right angled triangle ABC, sine of theta is half. So recall that sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So if that is if sine of theta is half, then my opposite, which is BC, should be one, and my hypotenuse, which is AC, should be two. Okay, and using Pythagoras theorem, I can work out AB to be the root of 3. Okay, from here, the question says, without using a calculator, find cosine theta and tangent theta. So, cosine theta is adjacent. Okay, so you can see over here, adjacent over hypotenuse. So, adjacent is root 3 over hypotenuse, which is 2. Okay, and simple as that. That's the answer. Okay, how about tangent theta? Tangent theta is defined as opposite over adjacent. So the opposite to theta is 1 and the adjacent is root of 3. So we have 1 over root of 3. Okay, And this is not the final answer because we need to rationalize the denominator as you have learned in the chapter on certs, indices, certs and logarithm. Okay, So what we're going to do, rationalize the denominator by multiplying root 3 over root 3 Simplifying this, we will just arrive at root 3 over 3, and that's the final answer. Okay, let's move on. 